Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 24th of 2019. Well, it is titled sand dunes thawing on Mars. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. And it is exploring Mars. And these are some images of the northern hemisphere of Mars, in fact, near the pole of Mars. Now, Mars does have a very thin atmosphere, so it has winds as we have here on Earth. And in fact, the winds can be uh, very intense. And as we've seen great dust storms on Mars, that are kicked up by the winds. They also do create sand dunes and you can see those here and the darker colors are the say are the sand underneath and then on top of it being near the pole we do get ices. Now ice will change and come and go with the seasons just as it does here on Earth. So during the winter season if you're far enough north or south you will get lots of uh, snow and ice building up and they will then go away in this, that hemisphere's summer. So here we're seeing them beginning to thaw and we're starting to expose some of the darker areas, which are the sandy areas down below. Now, when they thaw, unlike on Earth, the difference is that Mars's atmosphere is so thin that you cannot convert things to a liquid. Water does not become liquid. So they undergo a process known as sublimation. And that is taking an object from a solid directly to a gas. Now we're familiar with that here on Earth. If you've ever seen dry ice, it's called dry ice because it does not melt but it goes directly from the solid form of carbon dioxide into the gaseous form of carbon dioxide. And that's actually what happens with both carbon dioxide and water on Mars. The water ice will go directly from the solid into the gaseous state without going through the liquid state. And that's because the pressure, the atmospheric pressure on Mars is insufficient for the liquid to be able to exist. So in fact, on Mars, both water ice and carbon dioxide ice would be forms of dry ice. Now, as this process continues, as some of the material gets exposed, such as these darker areas, remember that darker areas will absorb more heat. So they're better off at absorbing a light, whereas white areas are better off at reflecting the light away. So just as during the summer, you generally don't want to wear very dark clothing because it absorbs the heat and will heat you up more uh, and will wear lighter colored clothing because it will reflect the light away. So here, as the darker areas get to ex get to become exposed, then that absorbs more heat into those regions, which will then enhance the process and continue this thawing uh, at a faster rate. So seasonal changes do happen on Mars much as they happen here on our own Earth. So that was our picture of the day for September the 24th of 2019. It was titled Sand Dunes Thawing on Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Really Big Bird. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.